Entering, exiting, entering, exiting, like a single room with a door each side to enter and to leave and to come back again. And I'm aware of certain people who want to draw lines in that room, label one door this, one door that, or batten up the hatches and stop you from leaving, or ask you for your ticket when you're sitting there just minding your own business trying to just be in the room, trying to be now. I'm not sure exactly how I entered the room, but it feels like the perspective or trajectory which I entered in allowed me to see a little line between the face and the mask. And I approached them and I tapped them on the shoulder and I asked, what are you doing? And there's a quiver, and there's sweat, and there's an uncomfortable shifting behind that mask. It's like people just take it at face value. We are indoctrinated, we are educated, we are put into stirrups, we are guided like vines up a wall across a lattice, an artifice. And we are so used to learning from those above us. We are so used to trying to get it right. We forgot that we have a right to be here, to observe, to create something entirely of our own, to share it around, to see how it changes, to receive it back and be changed by the changes others made. Very simple, very innate, not needed to be taught. Trees, animals, Rivers, chemicals, electrons, play in this way. Humans too can play in this way. But there are ticket inspectors. And there are people with big, big locks. People with installing air cons and fireplaces and blaring, blinding lights and speakers. All of this artifice, all of this is arbitrary. It is a shell that sits over a mighty, beautiful, majestic, savage, generous, abundant beast that is the universe, that is nature, that is truth, that is spirit, that is us. And so, this feeling inside me is my personal integrity. It's only mine. It need not be yours. But it's my attempt to connect what is outside myself. That within which you sit too. If some part of it resonates with you as true, then it's yours too. I am a cognito naught, explorer of ideas. No brand name, no PTYLTD. <laughs> No copyright, it is what I am. You can use it, you can put it on a billboard, tie it to a shoe, I don't care. <laughs> there is no possession. Once I create, I give it. And after that, it can be remixed in the hip-hop tradition of celebration through replication, through changing and continual evolution. This is the cognito school of unlearning. 
Ironic, yes, because schools often teach. But we are here to take off all that you are holding on to unnecessarily. It is my attempt to create my life as an open source existence. The open source movement is about peer-to-peer -peer learning and sharing. It's about enabling resources to flow as they should. A natural diffusion of skill sets, of knowledge, of information, of benefit, and also potentially sharing the burden of deficit. Breathing. That is what happens, and yet we try to create artificial vacuums. So if you just breathe in with me now, breathing in, it is yours, and breathing out, it is theirs, and breathing in, it is mine, and breathing out, it is all, and breathing in, it is yours. Do with it as you wish. Use it to sing, use it to feel, use it to nourish, to heal. <laughs> it's just what it is. I didn't make it, I'm just in love with it. So I look at it, and I analyze it, and I explore it, and I take off my shoes to connect with it, and I roll in it, and I celebrate it through my heart and say, did you, that, yeah, surely, yeah, yeah. And you're like, yeah, actually, yes. <laughs> and in that moment, when you go fucking not crazy for thinking that society is hemming us in and suffocating us day by day, minute by minute, you start to see the wisdom in Krishnamurti's words which says, It is no measure of health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. We're not trying to fit in, we're trying to fit out, allow ourselves to be as big and mighty and able to reach into that thing. Let it fill with us, let it spill with us, be abundant, because we are replenishable, eternally abundant. Our energy source and our ability to be here and continue does not run out. Conservation can be conservative. I work with aesthetics, not anesthetics, like the dentist makes you numb with, but something which is drawn down, pulled out from within me, shared around, and enables you to feel. This is a school of art. But not just any particular medium, just artfulness, crafting, getting your hands in the clay, painting, spitting the paint. Dancing, moving, animation to fill with spirit. That's all it is. It's the best dance. It's the best art form. It's life itself. We are life artists, each and every one of us, by breathing, by um, animating this meat puppet around. We are creating a story. And we share these stories every day. And we hold on so lovingly to our personal story, that of our family, that of our culture. And it's very beautiful because it is an art. But let's share it knowingly because it is an arbitrary addition to the universal connectedness that has always been here, without a single word ever being written, a single book ever being closed, a single word being uttered, a single paintbrush stroke, a single violin string. Any of these do not issue it forth, they merely pass it on. And before all of these constructions, it still existed. And that is what I celebrate through my heart. I do believe that we can create something entirely new. However, even if we just interpret what is, we have our work cut out for us. I think that in this time of information with the internet, it's our almost responsibility or du duty to translate the huge resource we have online, the huge collective knowing. We're continually documenting and sharing and commenting and archiving that is without, beyond our reach. We have these gatekeepers like Facebook and Google, and I think they do many wonderful things, but it's not the only way to ex access our collective consciousness. So, as an artist, I want to translate that. As an artist, I want to translate the universe. 
as an artist, I want to explore and take off the muting, take off the insulation, so I can really feel, so I can really appreciate and channel the aesthetics, the feelingness, the livingness, taking this and putting it into my existence as a form of art. Thank you. Welcome to Communal School of Unlearning. This is the opening. Welcome to the Creative State. Yeah.